Dr. Simone Gold was in that video, the banned one. She was censored, but more than that, she was fired from her job, apparently for appearing in that video. We're going to get the story directly from her because she joins us now. Doctor, thanks so much for coming on. Can it be Thank true you. that you lost your job for expressing your medical opinions on camera? Yes, thank you so much. I'm a board certified emergency physician for 20 years. In fact, until it seems like five minutes ago, I was considered a hero and people would be clapping and glad that I was doing what I was doing. And then the video came out and I was summarily fired for appearing in what was told to me is an embarrassing video. So that's what happened. Uh, uh, leaving aside the legal question of whether an employer is just allowed to fire someone for appearing in a video that might hurt the Biden campaign, I'm interested in what their justification was. You're a doctor treating patients in an emergency room. What does a video have to do with your work? Yeah, of course it has nothing to do with my work. I'm very well liked, well regarded. Thankfully, I've got a wonderful reputation with the patients, with my staff, with my colleagues, and I actually enjoy what I do. But you know, we came to Washington because we're so distressed. You know, frontline doctors like myself, we're seeing patients not get what they need. We're seeing the doctor-patient relationship being completely eroded, that the governors are empowering pharmacies to overrule doctors who had conversations with their patients. It's really something that Americans should be alarmed about. And as you probably know, um, I did not know things were gonna go viral, of course. I was told later that we were the most viral video of, of all time. Apparently there was 18 million views on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, wherever it is, and they all kind of summarily pulled all of it. It's, it was just all taken off. My own website was taken down, um, and it's been interesting ever since. And, and we should say for our viewers who haven't seen it, and presumably our viewers can't see it because the tech that were interesting, that were clearly true, shouldn't you as a practicing physician with a medical degree be allowed to express your views on science as you practice it without being censored. You know, what's funny is the video that got the most attention was a press conference we did right in front of the Supreme Court, but actually the summit was seven hours of doctors teaching the American people. We decided to come straight to the American people with lots of social media, so we did a morning session for three and a half hours and an afternoon session for three and a half hours. I'm not sure you even knew that, and we went through everything with the lockdown, masks, hydroxychloroquine treatment, other treatments, just all of it, how it affects older people, younger people, etc. That right. was actually the majority of the summit, and yes, people will be able to find America's frontline doctors. They took my, my URL, so it's got the word summit now, America's Frontline Doctors Summit.com. I don't want anyone to just believe me because I'm saying it. We put together a white paper that has all the science, it's utterly irrefutable that hydroxychloroquine is safe. That's without question. And there's tons and tons of studies to show now that it's quite efficacious. You have to kind of wonder why we're still talking about an FDA approved medication. It's been around for 65 years, it's been around since long before George Washington, who gave it to his troops. Why are we still discussing it? It's a little bit strange. Yeah, I mean, Look, I majored in Russian history. I don't know anything about hydroxychloroquine. I do know about the way the country is supposed to work. And physicians should be allowed to explain their experiences, their clinical experiences, treating patients. And you're not allowed to because Joe Biden getting elected is more important. And that's scary. And I'm grateful that you came on tonight. Doctor, uh, I May really I say am one and, thing? There's a, a lot of people. There's a lot of people saying some negative things about me. I would ask people, please, to stop saying negative things about me. I'm a board-certified emergency physician. I take good care of patients. We've hired Lynn Wood to help me in this matter, and I hope that that puts to rest anything that people might want to say that's defamatory. I hope so too. I rarely root for lawyers, but I am in this case. Doctor Gold, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.